In every corner of our vast world, from bustling cities to quiet villages, people have always been on a quest, a journey to find true happiness. Picture this, a man in New York working tirelessly for a promotion, a woman in Pakistan setting up a small business, or a student in Korea hoping to make a mark. Yet, amidst these dreams, society often paints a picture of happiness tied to possessions, titles, or bank balances. But what if we told you there's a place where happiness is seen differently? And Ikigai. In Japan, this isn't just a buzzword, it's a lifestyle. It's about finding joy, purpose, and balance in the dance of life. It's not just about what we do for a living or our weekend hobbies. Ikigai is a sweet spot where our passions, talents, societal contributions, and economic viability intersect. As the old Japanese saying goes, your Ikigai is the reason you wake up in the morning. So are you ready to discover yours? Ikigai's four pillars. Joy in action. Happiness. It's often the simple moments, right? Take joy in action. Picture Jane, a banker, yet her coffee breaks filled with doodles. One day, she trusted her heart, swapped spreadsheets for paintbrushes, and magic happened. Her passion painted not just canvases, but her life with colors of joy. Bob Marley, the iconic musician, once mused, Love the life you live. Live the life you love. His life was a melody of passion. Every tune, every word reflects reflecting his heart's joy. Curious about unearthing your joy? Delve into The Little Book of Ikigai by Ken Mogi. More than a guide, it's a journey into self. Every word nudges you closer to your heart's song. Friends, what's your story? Your passion? Find it. Live it. Because in that joy, you'll uncover happiness's true essence, serving the greater good. Have you ever witnessed a small act of kindness and felt an inexplicable warmth? It's a simple reminder that making a difference be it monumental or minuscule, imprints our souls with a profound sense of purpose. It's not about recognition or rewards. It's about touching lives in ways we might never fully grasp. Think about it. Every day, we encounter countless opportunities to uplift someone, offer a helping hand, or even just share a smile. These acts, though they seem tiny, ripple through the universe, creating waves of positive change. Mahatma Gandhi once said, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. These aren't just beautiful words strung together. They embody a powerful truth. By serving others, we're not just enriching their lives. We're discovering shades of ourselves we never knew existed. There's a wonderful book titled The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. It revolves around a tree that gives everything, bit by bit, to a boy it loves. It's a simple story, but carries a profound message about selflessness. Serving the greater good isn't a duty. It's a journey, a dance of the heart and soul. And in this dance, we find our rhythm, our place in the grand tapestry of life. Economic sense. You've heard the saying, money can't buy happiness, right? But let's be honest, money can buy choices, experiences, and a certain level of comfort. Picture Ruby, a talented musician, yearning to spread her music to the world. She's filled with passion, but the rent and bills, they need paying. A study by the American Psychological Association highlighted that financial stress tops the list for most people's anxieties. It's not about hoarding wealth, but having enough to facilitate your passions and lessen life's pressures. Mark Twain once said, find a job you enjoy doing and you'll never have to work a day in your life. But sometimes that job needs to pay. It's about striking a balance between pursuing what lights your fire and ensuring the home fires keep burning. For those seeking this balance, there's a fantastic read, The Art of Money by Barry Tesler. It doesn't preach lavish living, but teaches the emotional and practical aspects of finance. Find that middle ground where passion meets pragmatism and watch your ikigai unfold. The journey of mastery. Well, it reminds us that real fulfillment isn't just about reaching an end goal, but relishing the process of getting there. Think Bruce Lee. Beyond his cinematic feats, he was a staunch believer in relentless practice, famously saying, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. It's a call to deep dive refine and evolve. It's about the love for the craft and the joy in the grind. Reflect on this. Are you merely chasing an end or are you truly immersed in your journey? True happiness, as Ikigai suggests, is often found in that immersive pursuit. And if you're curious about the visual embodiment of this philosophy, give Whiplash 
a watch. It brilliantly showcases the essence of mastery, mapping one's life on the Ikigai matrix. Ikigai isn't merely a buzzword, it's an intricate compass, guiding one towards happiness and fulfillment. Let's dive into its four unique aspects. Passion, Pathway. Many are blessed with talents that set their hearts alight. It could be art, music, or even coding. The challenge here isn't about loving what you do, but converting that love into a sustainable living. Remember the numerous artists, musicians, or innovative minds we hear about who live for their craft but struggle to make ends meet? This aspect of Ikigai nudges one to balance pure passion with financial pragmatism. Missionary Mindset. Ever felt a burning desire to make a change? To serve a purpose bigger than oneself? That's the missionary mindset. Environmental activists, for instance, see the world's needs clearly. Their challenge, however, lies in conveying the urgency of these needs to the wider public. It's not just about seeing the problems, but making others see and act on them too. Profit without passion. High-paying jobs, lavish lifestyles, but a void within. Many individuals find themselves stuck in lucrative careers that bring no joy. Research data consistently highlights how job dissatisfaction can lead to significant mental health issues. It's a subtle reminder. Money can facilitate happiness, but it isn't happiness. Valued skill without growth. Think of those top-notch professionals, the experts in their fields. They're in high demand, well compensated, and seemingly at the pinnacle of their careers. But a closer look often reveals a sense of stagnation. The monotony of their daily tasks, no matter how critical, leaves them yearning for growth and learning. So where does this all lead us? To the understanding that finding one's ikigai isn't a destination, but an ongoing journey. It's about understanding where you stand today and where you'd like to be tomorrow. Speaking of ongoing journeys, if you're feeling like you're not pushing enough or just coasting by, our previous video on how to avoid mediocrity might offer some insightful perspectives. And if you ever feel like you're spiraling into monotony, remember our video about burnout. Sometimes it's not laziness, it's just being burnt out. You're not lazy, you're burnt out. Imagine a farmer plants a seed, waters it, and waits. Days go by and there's no sign of growth. He could easily think, well, this seed isn't working, let's toss it. But he knows better. He understands that growth takes time, nurturing, and yes, challenges. Because it's those very challenges, be it the rain that sometimes floods or the sun that scorches, that ultimately make the seedling push upwards, seeking the light. We're not much different. Sitting still, avoiding hurdles and challenges may seem comfy, but it doesn't bring out our best. As the saying goes, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. We grow, evolve, and reach our highest potentials when we're pushed a little, stretched a tad more than we're used to. But it's not just about taking on challenges for its sake. It's about finding that beautiful zone when you're doing something you love, you're good at, and time seems to fly by. Psychologists call this the flow. Imagine being a pianist, fingers dancing on the keys, lost in the melody, unaware of the hours going by. That's flow. It's that deep dive into a task where everything else fades away, and all that remains is you and your passion. In that magical zone, you're not just doing, you're becoming. You might wonder, how do I find my flow? Let's take a cue from Atomic Habits by James Clear. He suggests that tiny changes make a significant difference. Start small. If you love writing, pen down a few lines every day. Enjoy music? Dedicate 10 minutes to learning a new note. Over time, these bits become a part of you, drawing you closer to your flow. Remember, the essence isn't to be perfect, but to keep moving, keep exploring. Because as Bruce Lee once beautifully put it, there are no limits. There are only plateaus, and you must not stay there. You must go beyond them. Embracing Ikigai means designing a life brimming with purpose and passion. Growth getters, remember, your journey's worth every struggle. So what's your Ikigai? Find it and flourish.